On Thursday, Wall Street Journal broke the crazy news that China has set up a spy base in Cuba, which is just 100 miles off the US coast. Then, on Saturday, when asked about this report, Biden administration confirms the report but tries to play down the threat of China's actions. So in this video, let's go over why Cuba is letting CCP set up a spy base in their country, what kind of spy base is this, and why the White House is trying to play down this issue. Let's start from the beginning. As mentioned earlier, Wall Street Journal reported that China has agreed to pay billions of dollars to Cuba in order to get an eavesdropping base near the US coast. According to the article, the base will give Chinese military a clearer picture of the sites to attack in case of a conflict. China has long had an outpost in places like South China Sea, where it monitors communications like satellite transmission, phone calls, and internet traffic. But the one in Cuba would be the first base in Western Hemisphere. Now, China spying on US citizen and government official is nothing new. It's always been a concern. That's why Huawei was banned, and that's why politicians from both sides are pushing to ban TikTok. And the spying threats don't just stop with Chinese companies. As the world recently discovered that CCP has police stations in major cities around the world, which they use to intimidate and harass people who speak out against the communist government. Then of course, there was that whole balloon saga when a Chinese spy balloon accidentally flew across the US, which gave CCP the ability to closely monitor phone calls, radio transmission, and other signals. And now, the news of a permanent base just 100 miles off the coast of US presents a dangerous threat to US national security. Experts believe that tracking signals at the base would give CCP a complete picture of possible targets in the US. Setting up a listening base in Cuba also fits into China's broader global strategy to secure ports and hubs at key naval choke points around the world, providing it with the ability to conduct real-time intelligence collection against US military and US facilities in the region. Funniest part of all this is when asked about the report on Friday, Beijing denied the existence of any such base and blamed the US for spreading misinformation. Ministry spokesperson from China said, and I quote, it is well known that disinformation and slander are usual tricks of the USA and reckless interference in internal matters of other countries is a US specialty. CCP goes on to deny, deny, deny. On Saturday, the Biden administration confirmed that the news about the Chinese base in Cuba is in fact true. And in reality, the base has been there even before Biden took office. White House goes on to confirm that they have known about CCP's plan for military expansions since January 2021. According to the White House, China has considered a number of sites for its bases spanning across the Atlantic Ocean, Latin America, the Middle East, Central Asia, Africa, and Indo-Pacific. Since learning about the CCP's plan, President Biden has instructed his team to address the challenge, and they've been working on a strategy that begins with diplomacy. According to the White House, they're already in contact with foreign governments that are considering a CCP base, and they have shared their concerns with them. This approach is already making progress, and it has considerably slowed down CCP's military expansion. Since the White House's statement on Saturday, many have called out White House for trying to downplay the true danger of a CCP base in Cuba. And there's a good reason for that. The Biden administration is trying to ensure a high stakes visit to China by a top US diplomat, Anthony Blinken, goes ahead as planned. Blinken's planned visit to China next week would be first by a US Secretary of State since 2018 and comes after Biden administration postponed an earlier visit in February after US shot down this Chinese spy balloon. Now it makes sense, the White House doesn't want another incident like the balloon episode to derail the planned talks. As the US administration has made final preparations for Blinken's trips in recent weeks, US and Chinese militaries have had two close calls. Pentagon says that a Chinese fighter jet flew dangerously close to a US surveillance plane in South China Sea on May the 30th. Days later, a Chinese naval ship came within 150 yards of a US destroyer in the Taiwan Strait. China rejected both of Pentagon's description and blamed both incidents on the US. Speaking to the reporters shortly after the incident, Blinken said the near collision only underscored the importance of US and China having open lines of communication. 
the most dangerous thing is not to communicate and as a result have a misunderstanding and miscommunication. We'll definitely have a video coming out as more information comes out from the Blinken's visit to China. So be sure to hit that subscribe button and the like button down below so you get to catch our future videos. Also, if you're someone who's always behind on geopolitics news, I have a solution for you. We recently launched Global Recaps, where we send simplified geopolitical news directly to your inbox, five days a week. These emails cover most important world news and only take five minutes to read. Best of all, it's all completely free, so sign up now using the link in the description.